Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. We're thrilled to have you here with us today. Your presence is truly valued. Picture this. Supermarket aisles empty, not a single tin of beans to be seen. You're on your own, left to fend for yourself in a cold, relentless world. Spine-chilling, isn't it? This isn't merely the stuff of dystopian fiction. It's a very real possibility in the wake of a catastrophic event or an economic collapse. But hold on, no need to panic. All hope is not lost, fellow preppers. There is a road to resilience, mastering the art of survival food recipes. Imagine being able to cooking up dishes from virtually nothing and limited resources. These are the recipes that our forefathers held on to, the ones that carried them through the most challenging times. Now it's our turn to arm ourselves with this crucial knowledge. In today's video, we will discuss survival recipes that you should start practicing now to be prepared for an economic fallout, societal breakdown, or even World War III. If you find value in today's video, I kindly ask that you consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Your support means the world to us. Please make sure to watch till the end and don't forget to share your thoughts on the video in the comment section below. As we journey through the world of survival recipes, it's essential to discuss the skill that can truly make or break your survival situation. Foraging. Knowing how to identify edible plants, fruits, and nuts in the wild can be a game changer when conventional food sources are scarce in a disaster scenario. Let's discuss some common edible plants you might come across in the wild. First up, we have dandelions. Yes, those yellow flowering weeds are actually edible, and not just that, they are packed with vitamins A and C. You can consume the leaves raw, or cook them to reduce their bitter taste. Next, we have wild asparagus. It's quite similar to its domestic counterpart and can be found in temperate regions. It's a good source of vitamin C, thiamine, and potassium. Then we have cattails, often found near water bodies. Almost all parts of this plant are edible. The root, leaves, and flowering spike can all be consumed either raw or cooked. Remember, always be 100% sure of the plant's identity before consuming it. When in doubt, it's better to avoid it. Let's start our survival recipe discussion with a simple yet nutritious survival recipe, dried fruit. In the survival world, dried fruit stands out as a simple and nutritious option. Not only does it provide you with essential vitamins and fiber, but it also has a long shelf life which is crucial in survival situations. Choose a variety of fruit that you enjoy. Wash and cut it into slices or cubes and soak them in a mixture of water with a touch of lemon juice or citric acid to prevent browning. Sprinkle some sugar or salt if you prefer, but it's entirely optional. Then spread out the fruit on a baking sheet and dry it in an oven at a low temperature for several hours. When your dried fruit is ready, store it in an airtight container. It can be kept at room temperature for up to six months or frozen for up to a year. So why not give it a try? You'll be adding another valuable recipe to your survival food pantry. Now let's discuss venison stew. This is a meal that our forefathers would be highly proud of. Packed with proteins, vitamins, and minerals, it serves as an ideal meal to keep you going in harsh circumstances or a disaster situation. The creation of Of This Stew involves venison meat, onions, potatoes, carrots, and garlic. You can toss almost anything into the stew. First, you dice the venison, sear it in a pot, and then take it out. Cook the onions, carrots, and garlic in the same pot. Reintroduce the meat along with the potatoes. Allow it to simmer until the venison is soft. And there you go. You have a nutritious venison stew, ideal for survival scenarios. This is undeniably one of the optimum meals for surviving challenging times owing to its flexibility and nutritional advantages. Survival food doesn't have to be bland or boring and our next recipe, Johnny Cakes, is a testament to that. This traditional New England favorite is not only delicious, but also incredibly versatile. You don't even need an oven to prepare them. These cakes can be baked in a pan over an open flame. This will be very important when you may not have access to an oven or are stuck in the wilderness. The ingredients are straightforward. You'll need one cup of white cornmeal, one teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of sugar, one half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of melted butter. Start by mixing all your dry ingredients together in a bowl. After that, melt your butter and slowly combine it with your dry mix until everything is evenly blended. If needed, you can add small quantities of milk or water until your batter reaches a thick yet pourable consistency. Next, heat some oil or bacon fat in a skillet over medium-high heat and drop spoonfuls of your batter into it. Wait until each side turns a beautiful golden brown before flipping them over and repeating the process on the other side. And finally, serve your Johnny Cakes hot. This recipe is a fantastic example of how survival food can be simple and versatile. 
Now let's discuss one of my favorite dishes that's not only delicious but also packed with proteins, minerals, and vitamins, the red beans and rice. It's a cost-effective and ideal survival recipe as it uses simple, non-perishable ingredients and provides a well-rounded meal. You'll need dried red beans, a large onion, a few cloves of garlic, olive oil or butter, ketchup, cumin, salt and pepper, and cooked rice. Soak the beans overnight to soften them. Saute the onions and garlic in oil or butter until they're soft. Add the beans and enough water to cover them, then bring the mixture to a boil. Let it simmer until the beans are tender, which could take a few hours. Add ketchup and seasonings if you have it handy, then serve the beans over cooked rice. This red beans and rice recipe is not just a feast for your taste buds, but it's also a nutritious and satisfying addition to your survival food list. The beans provide protein and fiber, while the rice gives you the carbohydrates you need for energy. The onions and garlic add flavor, and are also good sources of vitamins and minerals. This is a wonderful example of how survival cooking can be both practical and enjoyable. Let's move on to another simple survival recipe, the cornmeal mush. This recipe has been used for generations, especially during times of economic uncertainties and the depression, due to its easy preparation and minimal ingredients. All you need is a cup of cornmeal, a teaspoon of salt, and four cups of boiling water. Preparation is quite straightforward. Bring the water to a boil, gradually add the cornmeal while stirring consistently, reduce the heat, add the salt, and continue stirring over low heat until most of the water has been absorbed. The result is a thick, hearty porridge that can be eaten as is or cooled and sliced to be fried. Cornmeal mush is rich in carbohydrates and vitamins, providing you with much needed energy and nutrients in survival situations. It's a versatile meal option that can be adapted based on available supplies. Mush is a testament to the fact that survival food doesn't have to be bland or unappetizing. It ranks among the best survival recipes you can make. Now let's explore another simple survival food that can be cooked over a fire or on your stovetop if you have access in a survival situation. The bannock. This bread-like staple is not only easy to make, but it's also a wholesome way to get nourishment when you're stuck in the wild or have limited access to other food sources. The beauty of bannock is its versatility. It can be served with virtually any type of topping, from meats to fruit preserves, allowing you to adapt based on what's available in a disaster or survival situation. Now let's dive into the ingredients. You need two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of bacon grease or lard. Start by combining your dry ingredients. Add in the fat and mix until you have a crumbly texture. Then, gradually add water or milk while stirring until a dough forms. Prepare the dough until it's smooth, shape it into loaves, and then bake it over a fire or in an oven until it's golden brown. Versatility and simplicity of the bannock recipe make it one of the best survival recipes to know. The next recipe is steeped in historical significance. The hardtack, an uncomplicated survival food hailing from the tumultuous Civil War period. Often called soldier's bread, this biscuit is constructed from a mere trio of ingredients, flour, water, and salt. It's this straightforward. Just incorporate the ingredients into a dough, flatten it with a rolling pin, and bake it in the oven until it achieves a hard consistency. The product is a hearty, enduring biscuit that can be preserved for years without deteriorating. I can hear you thinking, that doesn't sound particularly delicious, and you'd be spot on. The essence of hardtack isn't in its flavor, it's all about survival. That's the exact reason why preppers stock up on the ingredients for this recipe. In times of scarcity, this tough biscuit can deliver vital nutrients when other sources are out of reach. Moreover, its extended shelf life makes it an optimal choice for food storage. So, while it may not bag any gourmet honors, the hardtack recipe undoubtedly holds a crucial spot in a survivalist's pantry. Now let's discuss a recipe that has withstood the test of time, the pemmican. A creation of Native Americans, pemmican provides an inventive method of preserving meat without modern technologies or refrigeration. This survival food is packed full of nutrients, combining dried meat, fat, nuts, berries, and spices. Though it may seem simple, it packs a punch in terms of energy, compactness, and longevity. Here's the method to its creation. Begin by drying your preferred meat in sunlight or over minimal fire, followed by a thorough grind till it turns into powder. Subsequently, render some animal fat until it's in a liquid state and blend it with the powdered meat. Add in a handful of crushed nuts and dried berries for that extra flavor and nutrition and allow it to cool. 
Once solidified, it can be stored for a significant length of time. This ancient survival recipe is still in vogue today and is a superb source of portable energy when no other alternatives exist. Next is the biltong. Originating from the diverse landscapes of South Africa, biltong is a savory meat jerky packed with protein and free from artificial preservatives or additives, making it a perfect for lengthy expeditions and survival scenarios. The key ingredients include lean beef, Worcestershire sauce, white vinegar, kosher salt, ground black sugar, garlic powder, and allspice. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to prepare it. Begin the meat, cutting it into long, thin strips. Immerse the strips in a blend of Worcestershire sauce, white vinegar, kosher salt, ground black pepper, sugar, powder, and allspice. Following this, allow the marinated meat to dry for a minimum of three days in a cool and dry environment. Ensure to hang the meat strips in a vertical position to any excess marinade to drip off. After the drying phase, your biltong is to be savored. This biltong recipe makes a worthy addition to any survival food. Keep in mind, survival food isn't restricted to being dull or mundane. It can be both wholesome and delectable. Next is a delightful dish from the annals of history is the Native American fry bread. This recipe, deeply rooted in some of the world's earliest civilizations, brings a delicious blend of mere ingredients such as flour, baking powder, salt, and water. This humble yet comforting recipe is a legacy, handed down through generations. Easy to prepare, this food serves as a dependable sustenance even in survival scenarios. To make it begin by mixing flour, baking powder, and salt in a bowl, then add water, stirring continuously until the dough forms. Knead until it's smooth, then allow it rest. Tear into small pieces, flatten them, and fry in hot oil until they turn golden brown on both sides. This recipe reflects the inventiveness and fortitude of the Native American cultures. Consider this American fry bread as a delightful extension to your survival food recipe list. The next survival food recipe that combines simplicity with flavor, the pan-fried pork chops. This recipe is not only easy to prepare, but also packs a nutritious punch. This meal is rich in protein, providing the essential energy you need in survival situations. Imagine being stranded in an unexpected location with limited resources. A meal like pan-fried pork chops could very well be the difference between weakness and strength. Preparation is straightforward, requiring nothing more than a pan, a heat source, and basic seasonings. It has a long shelf life, making it a great addition to your survival food stash. Fried pork chops is also a sustainable choice. It helps in reducing waste by efficiently utilizing every part of the pork. It's a prime example of how simple ingredients can create powerful and delicious meals. So why not give it a try? The best time to prepare for survival is now, and every new recipe you master brings you one step closer to being fully prepared. Now an age-old survival food that has stood the test of time, the rusks. Also known as ship's biscuit, rusks have been a sailor's staple for centuries. These simple yet nutritious delights are perfect for long voyages, or indeed anyone preparing for survival situations. The beauty of rusks lies in their simplicity. The core ingredients require virtually no prep time. All you need is some flour, water, salt, and baking soda. Put these together in a bowl, shape the mixture into dough, and bake until dry and crunchy. You've got yourself a batch of hearty rusks that can last for months, even years without spoiling. In survival scenarios, these rusks can be softened with water, or eaten as they are for a quick energy boost. These are lightweight, compact, and easy to store, making them a must-have addition to any survival kit. By adding the Rusks recipe to your survival food repertoire, you're taking one more step towards being fully prepared for any situation. The next dish is not only delicious, but also packed with proteins, the buffalo jerky. This dried meat delicacy has been a go-to for survivalists for centuries, owing to its high protein content and long shelf life. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are buffalo flank steak, Worcestershire sauce, low sodium soy sauce, natural honey or agave nectar, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, and black pepper. The process begins by freezing the steak until it is firm enough to slice into one quarter inch thick pieces. Marinate the meat using a mix of the aforementioned ingredients. The marinated meat is then dried in a food dehydrator until it achieves the desired consistency. You've got yourself a batch of buffalo jerky that can last for months and can be a great source of protein in survival situations. Survival food doesn't have to be bland or uninspiring, it can be both nourishing and delicious. Adding this buffalo jerky recipe to your survival food repertoire, you're taking one more step towards being fully prepared for any situation. Up next is fish on a stick. 
It is not just easy to prepare, but also provides a good source of protein, essential for maintaining strength in challenging conditions. All you need are fish fillets, skewers, and your favorite marinade. Start by threading the fish onto the skewers, then sprinkle with salt and pepper. Place them in olive oil and your chosen seed mixture. Finally, broil them until the seeds begin to brown and the fish is firm. There you go. You got yourself a tasty and nutritious survival meal that can be prepared with minimal resources. The next item originates from South Africa that's loved by many people all over the world, the vetkuk. Vetkuk, which literally translates to fat cake, is a versatile and hearty delicacy that can be made with the simplest of ingredients, most of which are likely already in your pantry or fridge. All you need is flour, sugar, salt, and yeast for the dough. Once you've prepared your dough, you can fill your vetkok with anything you like, sweet or savory. For survival situations, consider fillings that are high in protein or energy, like beans, canned meat, or even fruit preserves. To prepare your vetkok, mix your dry ingredients and add water until a dough forms. Let it rise, then divide into small balls. Fry these in hot oil until golden brown, and you've got yourself a filling and nutritious meal that can be made in almost any situation. This vetkok recipe is an excellent choice for survival situations. Next are potato cakes. This dish is a favorite across the globe with different cultures adding their unique twist through various fillings. But at its core, it's a simple and hearty meal that can be prepared with limited resources. All you need are some potatoes, flour, and a bit of salt. First, you'll need to boil the potatoes until they're soft, then mash them until there are no lumps. Fry these cakes in a pan until golden brown on both sides and voila. You've got yourself a delicious and energy-packed meal that can be made in almost any situation, even when resources are scarce. But these cakes have a long shelf life when stored properly, making them an excellent choice for survival situations. Plus, potatoes are a good source of vitamins and minerals, providing much-needed nutrition when other food sources may be limited. We now venture into the heart of South Africa with a classic dish that's not only delicious but also versatile and easy to prepare, the oxtail pachi. This dish, a staple in many South African homes, traces its roots back to the early settlers and is known for its rich, hearty flavor. But what makes oxtail pachi one of the best survival recipes is its portability and adaptability. You can prepare it with whatever vegetables you have on hand, and it can be cooked in a large pot over an open fire, a practical feature in survival situations. And don't let the name fool you. While oxtail is traditionally used, you can substitute it with any meat you have available. The preparation is straightforward. All you have to do is brown the meat, add in your vegetables, some stock, and let it simmer. After a few hours, you'll have a pot full of rich, flavorful stew. Next, we have a nutritious survival meal that can be made with basic ingredients, the pinole. This ancient recipe, originally from the Native American tribes, is a testament to the power of simplicity. Made from finely ground maize, traditionally toasted in a pan with a dash of oil, pinole is both delicious and nutritious. This humble meal is more than meets the eye. It's packed full of flavor, providing essential carbohydrates and proteins that your body needs for energy, especially in survival situations. Imagine being stuck in the wilderness with limited resources. A meal like pinole could very well be the difference between fatigue and vitality, but the benefits of pinole don't stop there. It's also one of the best survival recipes due to its easy preparation and no need for refrigeration. Plus, it's a fantastic way to use up any leftover grains you may have. So, not only does it help you survive, but it also prevents waste, making it a sustainable choice, too. The next survival food staple are dumplings. If you're looking for an easy, tasty meal that you can prepare with limited resources, then dumplings are the perfect choice. This humble food item is a global favorite, with variations found in every corner of the world. All you need is some flour, a source of fat such as butter or lard, and any kind of filling you might have. Cooked vegetables, ground meats, or even leftovers, anything can be transformed into a delicious dumpling filling. Preparing dumplings is a breeze. Simply mix the flour and fat to create a dough, fill it with your chosen ingredients, and then boil or fry them. Within minutes, you have a hearty meal that can be served with a dollop of sour cream or enjoyed as a tasty snack on its own. The adaptability of dumplings is what makes them such a fantastic survival food. Whether you're in the heart of a forest or stuck in a snowstorm, as long as you have some basic ingredients, you can whip up a batch of warm, comforting dumplings. We now venture into the heart of the American South with a classic dish that's not only delicious but also versatile and easy to prepare, the corn dodgers. This staple food, traced back to early settlers, is still enjoyed today for its simple yet rich flavor. 
The beauty of corn dodgers lies in their portability and adaptability, making them one of the best survival recipes. The ingredients for corn dodgers are straightforward. Finely ground cornmeal, a pinch of salt, lard or vegetable shortening, water and vegetable oil for frying. You begin by mixing the cornmeal, salt, and lard. Add water to form a dough. Once your dough is ready, form it into small ovals or dodgers. Now, heat your oil and fry these dodgers until they turn a beautiful golden brown. When it comes to survival foods, these corn dodgers are a real game changer. Whether you're having them as a side dish or enjoying them as a fantastic breakfast on their own with a little bit of honey, corn dodgers are a recipe you'll want to have in your survival toolkit. The next item is not only easy to make but also incredibly tasty, the peasant bread. This bread is a true survivor requiring only five ingredients and no oven to prepare. Its simplicity and deliciousness make it an excellent food source in emergency scenarios. The best part? It has a surprisingly long shelf life and resistance to spoilage. So what do you need to make this survivalist delight? All-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, butter or oil, warm water, and a bit of honey for sweetness. The process is as simple as the ingredients. Mix them together, knead the dough, shape it into a loaf, and bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. And there you go. You have a tasty and nutritious loaf of peasant bread. Now to good old-fashioned stack cake. This cake is not only quick to make, but it also uses simple ingredients that you might already have in your pantry. The ingredients for this include all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, ground cinnamon, salt, softened butter, firmly packed light brown sugar, eggs and buttermilk or regular milk. To prepare this start by preheating your oven to 350 degree F and greasing two 8-inch round cake pans. In a medium bowl, combine your dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, cream together the butter and sugar until fluffy, then add the eggs one at a time, mixing on low speed. Gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, alternating with the buttermilk or milk. Once the batter is just blended, divide it evenly between the prepared pans and bake for about 25 minutes or until golden brown. When the cakes have cooled completely, assemble your stack cake by spreading half of the filling onto one side of each cooled cake layer. Stack the layers with the filling side up, spread the remaining filling on top, and sprinkle with walnuts if desired. This old-fashioned stack cake is a perfect example of how survival food doesn't have to be bland or boring. With just a few simple ingredients and a little bit of time, you can create a comforting and delicious treat that's sure to nourish both body and soul in any survival situation. As we come to the end of this discussion, remember that the key to survival is preparation, resourcefulness, and practice. If you have any questions or if there are any topics that you would like us to cover in the future, please leave a comment below. We love hearing from our community and your feedback helps us create better content for you. What did you think of these recipes? Let us know in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and share it with your fellow survival enthusiasts. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all our latest content. Before we sign off, YouTube's algorithm has picked out another video for you based on your viewing history. You can find it on the top left-hand corner of your screen. We hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks for joining us today on the Prepper Almanac.